it's easier. You tell me what you think, though. But I think it's easier for uh, Latino and Latinas to understand America as an empire more so than Black folks. You think I'm right or wrong about that? No, I, I don't. I don't. I don't think you're wrong because, first of all, when we lost, you know, a third of Mexico to the empire, you know, yes, we yes. understood it, and and it became a, in some ways, you know, that there have always it has always been a wound. Uh, and a unique thing to us, because when they talk about immigration, uh, this land once was ours. You, you're coming back to your own <laughs> Coming back to our own land. <laughs> so it's like, it's not like you take over a house That's and then right. you, you, I stole someone's house and they try to break in to take their house back and you go, they're invaders. It was it was That's a change right. of the term. But in fact, in Texas, uh, the white settlers were invited in by Mexico. They were invited in. The issue became slavery. In the end, in fact, after the Alamo, uh, one of the two survivors were all black people. It was slaves, because since slavery had been abolished in Mexico, they didn't see them as combatants at all. To them, they saw them as being liberated. And of course, they were let to go. There was two black slaves that were allowed to go. And actually, one had worked with uh, Travis, who actually fought side by side with him. Luckily, they didn't see that part. Uh, yes, but basically, yeah, they, that was about freedom. And, it, and, t- and Mexico later on had a me- uh, black president. Even if you look at California, if you look at Pio Pico, the first governor of California, he is a black man and by all, all rights and colors. And, and that's right, what they saw him as. So it, it's the unique thing of, of we almost have a forgotten history that, yes, that yes, we yes. were trying to bring back. And, and I think in some ways, people find that it's very revolutionary. It's not revolutionary. It's just telling the truth. It's just telling the truth. That's, That's all exactly. it is. But the truth is revolutionary for yes. those who are living in an illusion or living in the land of denial. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? It is earth shaking. And mm-hmm. a lot of people will say, well, you know, Brother Rick and Brother Cornell, you all sound like you're so critical of America. It's almost anti-American. No, we love no. the truth. <laughs>